today I'm going to be doing another After Effects tutorial. The seem to be requested quite a lot. Um, if you do want to request an After Effects tutorial, feel free to drop it in the comments. I can figure most things out if you can't figure it out, so I'm willing to help. Um, so just comment any request for videos all and I'll, I'll get around to it. Right, so in this tutorial we're actually going to be looking at a pop-up, uh, which you see in most of my videos, which pops up in the top left hand corner, it says subscribe and a little YouTube symbol. And it's it's quite cool really, it's, um, it's pretty awesome to have in your videos, because you can annotate it to subscribe to your channel and stuff like that. And it's just something that will boost your overall subscribers, or you could have it with a Twitter logo or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we'll take a quick look at that, I guess. Uh, we'll open a file, and it's on my desktop, I believe, called YouTube Pop-Up Project <laughs> Right, so if you look, this is what it does. I'm going to play it, and we'll see what it looks like. Let's do a RAM preview on full quality. So what it does is it pops down, pops the subscribe bit out, and then projects the subscribe. So if we do that really, really slowly, we can see pops down with a lot of motion, springs back up, pops the subscribe bit out along with the text at the same time with a lot of motion, and then it's also wiggling at the same time. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Now what I did when I created this is I actually created this YouTube logo um, just by myself really, just playing around in After Effects. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to our After Effects, we're going to go New Projects, you will already have a new project probably, um, and we want a new composition. We're going to make this about a minute long. Um, so go like that. There we go, that's a minute. And first of all, we want to create our YouTube logo. So we're going to get our rectangle tool over here, and we want to go to Round Rectangle Tool and we want to make the fill white make a little rectangle like so and there we are that's what's we'll just go and put full preview as well and that's what's going to be our youtube logo now if i get youtube up we'll be able to see this a little bit better And what we're going to be wanting to do is create one which looks a little bit like this one. A little bit like that. So we need U in black at the top, and then we need a little rectangle at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our second rectangle, and this one's going to be a small one, probably about that big, and the fill needs to be red. I just go for the darkest, the most pure red you can get. And we're just going to stick that in the bottom like that. Remember this is for the YouTube pop-up. I don't have a Twitter one as of yet, but I'm going to be making one soon. And we can stick that about there. Now, as you can see, it's not identical, but you get the idea. Neither was the other one that I made, but it still looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to just darken this a little bit, because I don't want it quite the brightest red. I'm going to have it about that dark, and we'll stretch it out just a little bit more. Cool. Just leave a little bit of border, like so. Next thing we can do is we can get our text box and we can write U. We're going to shrink this down. Again, I am using the Alcina font. I know it isn't the YouTube font, but you know, I think it looks quite cool. Uh, we want to make that black and stick that up there, like so. Pretty awesome, right? That a little bit bigger. Like that. Very cool. Um, so the next thing is to make our next part, which is hold on, I'm just going to move my anchor point as well, actually. Go and pan behind, move the anchor point to the center because it is quite annoying that it's not in the center. Um, shape of this is quite difficult. I think we'll go about that big. 
Now what we can do is get some more text. We want this one to be white, and we're going to write tube in full caps. It's all down to what, however custom you want it. You could just get the YouTube logo off off the internet, but you know I like to make my own. I think it looks quite quite cool, especially with the LC in the font. So there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, that's how you make your little YouTube logo to start off with. And I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. Again, I'm going to move my anchor point up into the center. To move that as well, I can click on the anchor point, I believe, and drag. Oops. And hold control, and it will automatically click to the center, like so. So I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. And that is looking pretty neat. Right, so now that we've got that, um, we could go on to the next part, which is going to be, we'll just zoom up to the top corner. Uh, we're going to first of all shrink this down, which is the whole thing. So we'll just scale that down a little bit. In fact, that's going to bug out, so, hmm, how can we do this? What we can do is we can make this a pre-composition. This is what I did with mine. Um, we can make it pre-composition so it's all glued together basically and working well. So what to do that, we highlight all our layers, we right click them and we go on pre-compose and we'll call this YouTube logo. And then we have our pre-composition like so. So what we can do now is we can just shrink that down a little bit to whatever size we want it to be in our scene. Probably a little bit bigger than that actually. Um, maybe like that. That looks good. We don't want it to be too big for the screen, but we don't want it to be too small. There we go. That looks good. So put it in the position that you want it. Uh, zoom in on it and we'll get into the animation now. So what we want it to do is we want it to pop down from the top of the screen first. Um, so I'm going to click P on my logo um, and I'm going to go a little bit in to about 5 seconds and I want it to be here in this position at about 5 seconds. So I'm going to click the position keyframe. I'm going to go back a little bit, just a tiny tiny little bit and I want to go down to create this spring load effect and then I want to go back a bit more and go all the way up and I'm going to click this motion blur button and click on that motion blur there so this is going to go down and spring back up down and spring back up which is what we want it to do then what we want it to do is a little bit after not too long uh, probably about here we want our next keyframe to be which is going to be our next rectangle popping out with our YouTube on it um, so we can go on the rectangle here again. Uh, I'm going to pick a grey, a light grey. I'm going to take this and we're going to highlight just a little area, probably about that big, like so. Now what I also did with mine, uh, with my YouTube logo, is I put a drop shadow on it. To do that we're just going to put this up to about here first. Make this a bit bigger maybe. Once we've moved our anchor point to the middle, so we're going to hold control again. Send that to the middle. And put that about there. That means that if we bring this shape layer underneath that YouTube logo, it's going to be behind it like so. Now I don't want this to just be flat against that, so I'm going to create a drop shadow. To do that we need to right click our YouTube logo, we go to Layer Styles, Drop Shadow. And it just adds a nice cool effect to that. And you can play around with the drop shadow settings here. We can reduce the opacity a little bit, which is what I'm going to do to about 29%. And that's all I usually do on that part. So the next part is to do our subscribe part, which we want to say subscribe. So we're going to get our text. Uh, we're going to write subscribe. And we're going to make this. I think we'll go for a dark grey. Uh, we want it to kind of stand out a little bit, but not too much. So we're going to go about there, I think. And we're going to put that over the top of our little rectangle here. And size it to how we want it. Which is probably about that much. That is looking pretty cool for a pop-up. 
So now what we can see is we can see that if we scrub along now, that's going to stick there and that pops up to that point. Now what we can do is we need to animate our next part. So this is the part which we need to animate. And to do this, we're going to create two anchor points. Now, the first anchor point, we're going to subs we're going to move the subscribe underneath our YouTube logo, just so it pops out from underneath. And we want to keyframe this to about here, so it's kind of fast paced. And we want to keyframe our scale. So we're going to keyframe both scales to there, because that's how big we want them to be at that point. Now what we can do is we can move our anchor points on both of them. So to, for our subscribe one, I want to move our anchor point to the same place that I've got the shape layer on. So I'm just going to move these back above just so I can see a little bit better where I'm putting the anchor point. Now I'm going to click on the subscribe first and I'm going to move this anchor point by clicking this button up here, clicking on the anchor point and moving it right to the edge of that rectangle there. And with the shape layer, I want to do the same. Right to the edge of that rectangle. On this one, I can hold control to clip it right to that point. Which is pretty cool. Now we can move these back under because we're done with those. Like so. Next part is to create our scale. We're going to go back a tiny little bit. And we're going to make these bigger. Like that. Just so it like does the effect that it's springing out. And then we can go a bit further back as well, like that. And if we put these to zero, then we should see they completely disappear and it's going to pop out like so. But we want this to add motion blur, so again we're going to click on the motion blur parts here and it should add motion blur to it. So now we can see if we just play through this slowly, we're going to see that zoom down and then that pop out. Which is pretty cool. Now what we can do is we can make all of this pre-compose. So once we've done, we're sure we've done. Highlight all, pre-compose, and call this I don't know YouTube pop-up. Now what we can do to this is click P for position, um, and we're gonna actually click Alt and click on our keyframe button, and we're gonna type in wiggle. Open bracket two comma ten close bracket. So, so this is now going to wiggle around as well, which is pretty cool, pretty neat. Now what we can do is, once we've had it out for long enough, so say if you want it out for 40 seconds, I don't know, um, we can click P on this again, we want to create a keyframe at about 40 seconds, go through a tiny little bit forward, I normally make mine drop down a little bit, then go through a little bit more, and put it all the way up. And again, I want to add the motion blur. So in this scene, it's going to jump down and then go zooming back up, just so it's not in there the whole of the video, which makes it look a lot cooler. So now, if we play that through as a full scene, we can see at about five seconds it comes in. Um, and that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. A pretty cool thing to add to your videos, and then it'll zoom off at the end. Now what we can do is any After Effects projects which you're going to be using this in, um, we can basically pre-compose this again. YouTube pop-up, find on and call this. And if we want to import this into a project, we can basically uh, drag this into our workspace of our project up here and we can use two compositions to basically make it so that we can have Two, two compositions in one project. So you can create a new composition for your video, for your final video, and you just drag that up into here. It'll already be in there actually. And then you can just drag this pop up into your next composition, and that's where you can edit your video and stuff like that. You can drag this to wherever you want it and stuff like that. So that is all for this video, guys. Remember, if you do want to do this with a Twitter logo, with a Facebook logo, whatever, it will work the exact same. So I hope this is a cool tip for you guys. Um, I will leave my I don't know if I'm going to leave my project actually, I think I've explained it quite well. Um, if anyone wants any help with this, I will give them my project, just let me know. Um, but it's pretty awesome if you can make something like this yourself, and it certainly does give you a sense of achievement, because you're learning new things. 
So, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if this helped you. Remember to like if it really did help you. And comment if you wanna, if you feel like commenting. If you really appreciate the tutorials, then it's great to see the feedback that I get. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.